My name is Mary, but I am no mostly known as the Mother of Jesus. I have had a few other titles given to me throughout the ages, such as Mother of God or Our Lady of Guadalupe. Jesus, well, he was a rebellious kid. He was also a good kid, but he was rebellious. Well, not like that, but he was rebellious in his own way. He followed his crazy cousin, later known as John the Baptist, into the wilderness where they would eat bugs and dress in animal skins. Bugs. I know many bugs are a solid source of protein, but we did have regular food in the house. But I still love my son, even with bugs in his mouth. That boy was always into something. One time, during a festival in Jerusalem, we lost him. He was just a young boy, and he really had us worried. We were looking everywhere. He was gone for three days. I wanted to hug him and yell at him at the same time. I was worried, scared, and angry. What an experience he put us through. When we finally found him, we were shocked to discover that he was surrounded by a crowd of people, all adults, a large group of older people, and he was preaching to them. It came so natural to him, it sounded as if he knew what he was doing. <sighs> At some point, our neighbors finally called. Called me, well, called both of us. Oh, hello, neighbor. How are you? How are things going? So you think Jesus has a problem, like you think the apple rolled a lo long way from the tree. Well, I don't know quite what to say to that. Jesus was out preaching and spreading the word of God. He offended a lot of people, and especially the Roman government and certain politicians. We were worried for his safety. We were worried for his life. You know, some people like Nicodemus, that fellow that you met last week. Hello, my name is Nicodemus. Some of those people started believing in Jesus. I came to you at night because I know you can show me the way to God. I believe in you. They began to follow him wherever he went. They were asking him questions and trying to find the word of God. But there were others who felt threatened by him and his power to move and change people's lives. You know, we did everything that we could. We went to him and begged him to come home. We went to him as his family. He wasn't a half bad carpenter, so he had jobs lined up. He could make cribs, he could make furniture, he could make tables. When we arrived, he was with a group of his followers, people, there were always people around him. When he saw us, he said, whoever does God's will is my brother and sister and mother. When I heard those words from his mouth, it really hurt to say such a thing to his own mother, the one who raised him and fed him and searched for him every time he got lost. But then I remembered that he is my son. As a parent, we keep making the decision to support our children wherever their journey takes them.